Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on switching between polar and Cartesian coordinates. All it comes down to really is describing a point in space. In Cartesian, we have X and Y. This is where most of us get started at uh, introduced the, into the describing a point. Radical 3 is 1.732. Don't know me. Don't ask me how I remember that. It's one of those useless data points I store in my head. Uh, in a polar coordinate, we have s exactly the same point in space. Let me try to duplicate it. Instead of writing it in xy, we want to say, well, there's a theta, and how far do I have to go out from the origin point? Still at zero and zero. So what we're going to do is really from going from Cartesian to polar, what we're going to do is use uh, some trig. For our particular example here, it's tangent, and then we're going to use Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. Okay, so let's put this into uh, use for us. So r, you can see here, here's my r, is equal to radical 3 squared plus 1 squared, and then r is equal to 3 plus 1, so r is equal to 2. So basically, you go two units out. Now, how far do you rotate from where you started? Well, let's take a look. Tangent theta, by definition, is whatever you're looking at, which is this wall, radical 3, over whatever is sitting behind you or underneath you, which is radical 3 over 1. And if you punch this one into your calculator, theta is equal to inverse tangent of radical 3, which in our case is 60 degrees. Okay. Just to make sure, um, there is a trick over here I want to show you in a minute, but I want to make sure I didn't. Yeah, this one looks fine. If you have any trouble with this one, and there is a trick here, you have a 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees. And you have a sine, cosine, and then tangent. And there's a couple tricks you can, how you can remember this one. Now before we do that, let's have a math week. I got a gorgeous picture of the airplane I want to own one day. Look at that. Clean and gorgeous. Anyway, okay, back to math. So sine of 30 is 1, 2, 3, put a radical on, divided by 2. Call sine is backward, 3, 2, 1, put a radical on, divided by 2. Since you know tangent is really sine theta divided by cosine theta, what you really have to do, memorize-wise, is just remember the first line. The rest of the stuff falls in really easily. See, radical 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. You can see tangent of 60 degrees is easily radical 3. No memorization is required. All right? So for our particular problem, let's see where that picture I left off. Okay, so this point also can be described as r and theta. r is 2 units. Theta is 60 degrees. And there you have it. That's how we convert back and forth. Okay, hope this one is clear. Once again from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.